रंगाज मैरिज बाय मस्ती व्यंकटेश अयंगर रंगा द अकाउंटेंट सन इज वन ऑफ द रेयर ब्रीड अमंग द विलेज फॉर हु हैज बीन टू द सिटी टू परस्यू हिज स्टडीज वेन ही रिटर्न टू हिज रिलीज फ्रॉम द सिटी ऑफ बेंगलोर द क्राउड मिल अराउंड हिज हाउस टू सी वेदर ही हैड चेंज और नॉट हिज आइडियाज अबाउट मैरिज आर नाउ क्वाइट डिफरेंट और आर दे वेन यू सी दिस टाइटल सम ऑफ यू मे आस्क रंगाज मैरिज वाई नॉट रंगनाथ विवाह और रंगनाथ विजय वेल यस आई नो आई कुड हैव यूज सम अदर माउथ फीलिंग वन लाइक जगन्नाथ विजय और गिरज कल्याण But then this is not about Jagannath's victory or Girija's wedding. It's about our own Ranga's marriage, and hence no fancy title. Hoshali is our village. You must have heard of it. No, what a pity! But it is not your fault. There is no mention of it in any geography book. Those sahibs in England. writing in english probably do not know that such a place exists and so make no mention of it our own people to forget about it you know how it is they are like a flock of sheep one sheep walks into a pit the rest blindly follow it when both the sahibs in england and our own geographers have not referred to it you cannot expect the poor cartographer to remember to put it on the map can you and so there is not even the shadow of our village on any map sorry i started somewhere and then went off in another direction if the state of mysore is to bharatvarsh what the sweet karigdabu is to a festive meal then hoshalli is to mysore state what the filling is to the karigdabu what i have said is absolutely true believe me i will not object to your questioning it but it will stick to my opinion i am not the only one who speaks glowingly of hoshalli we have a doctor in our place his name is gundabhat he agrees with me he has been to quite a few places no not england if anyone asks him whether he has been there he says no anaya i have left that to you running around like a flea pasted dog is not for me i have seen a few places in my time though as a matter of fact he has seen many we have some mango trees in our village come visit us and i will give you a raw mango from one of them do not eat it just take a bite the soreness is sure to go straight to your bhamarandra i once took one such fruit home and a chutney was made out of it all of us ate it the cough we suffered from after that it was when i went for the cough medicine that the doctor told me about the special quality of the fruit just as the mango is special so is everything else around our village we have a creeper growing in the ever so fine water of the village pond its flowers are a feast to behold get to leaves from the creeper when you go to the pond for your bath and you will not have to worry about not having leaves on which to serve the afternoon meal you will say i am rambling it is always like that when the subject of our village comes up but enough if any one of you would like to visit us drop me a line i will let you know where hosahali is and what things are like here the best way of getting to know a place is to visit it don't you agree what i am going to tell you is something that happened 10 years ago we did not have many people who knew english then our village accountant was the first one who had enough courage to send his son to bangalore to study it is different now there are many who know english during the holidays you come across them on every street talking in english 
Those days we did not speak in English, nor did we bring in English words while talking in Kannad. What has happened is disgraceful, believe me. The other day I was in Rama Rao's house when they bought a bundle of firewood. Rama Rao's son came out to pay for it. He asked the woman, how much should I give you? Four pies, she said. The boy told her he did not have any change and asked her to come the next morning. The poor woman did not understand the English word change and went away muttering to herself. I too did not know. Later when I went to Ranga's house and asked him, I understood what it meant. This priceless commodity, the English language, was not so widespread in our village a decade ago. That was why Ranga's homecoming was a great event. People rushed to his doorstep announcing, The accountant's son has come. The boy who had gone to Bangalore for his studies is here, it seems. And come, Ranga is here, let's go and have a look. Attracted by the crowd, I too went and stood in the courtyard and asked, Why have all these people come? There is no performing monkey here. A boy, a fellow without any brains, said loud enough for everyone to hear, What are you doing here then? A youngster, immature and without any manners, thinking that all these things were now of the past, I kept quiet. Seeing so many people there, Ranga came out with a smile on his face. Had we all gone inside, the place would have turned into what people call the black hole of Calcutta. Thank God it did not. Everyone was surprised to see that Ranga was the same as he had been six months ago, when he had first left our village. An old lady who was near him ran her hand over his chest, looked into his eyes and said, The Janevra is still there. He hasn't lost his caste. She went away soon after that. Ranga laughed. Once they realized that Ranga still had the same hands, legs, eyes and nose, the crowd melted away like a lump of sugar in a child's mouth. I continued to stand there. After everyone had gone, I asked, How are you, Rangappa? Is everything well with you? It was only then that Ranga noticed me. He came near me and did a namaskar respectfully, saying, I am all right with your blessings. I must draw your attention to this aspect of Ranga's character. He knew when it would be to his advantage to talk to someone and rightly assessed people's worth. As for his namaskar, to me he did not do it like any present day boy, with his head up towards the sun. Standing stiff like a pole without joints, jerking his body as if it was either a wand or a walking stick, nor did he merely fold his hands. He bent low to touch my feet, may you get married soon, I said, blessing him. After exchanging a few pleasantries, I left. That afternoon when I was resting, Ranga came to my house with a couple of oranges in his hand, a generous, considerate fellow. It would be a fine thing to have him marry, settle down and be of service to society, I thought. For a while we talked about this and that, then I came to the point. Rangappa, when do you plan to get married? I am not going to get married now, he said. Why not? I need to find the right girl. I know an officer who got married only six months ago. He is about 30 and his wife is 25. I am told they will be able to talk lovingly to each other. Let's say I married a very young girl. She may take my words spoken in love as words spoken in anger. Recently a troop in Bangalore staged the place Shakuntala. There is no question of Dushyant, 
falling in love with shakuntala if she were young like the present day brides is there what would have happened to kalidas play if one gets married it should be to a girl who is mature otherwise one should remain a bachelor that's why i am not marrying now is there any other reason a man should marry a girl he admires what we have now are arranged marriages how can one admire a girl with milk stains on one side of her face and wetness on the other or so young that she doesn't even know how to bite her fingers one a neem fruit the other a bitter gourd exactly ranga said laughing i was distressed that the boy who i thought would make a good husband had decided to remain a bachelor after chatting for a while longer ranga left i made up my mind right then that i would get him married rama rao's niece a pretty girl of 11 had come to stay with him she was from a big town so she knew how to play the veena and the harmonium she also had a sweet voice both her parents had died and her uncle had brought her home ranga was just the boy for her and she the most suitable bride for him since i was a frequent visitor to rama rao's place the girl was quite free with me i completely forgot to mention her name ratan it was the very next morning i went to their house and told rama rao's wife i'll send some buttermilk for you ask ratan to fetch it ratan came it was a friday so she was wearing a grand sari i told her to sit in my room and requested her to sing a song i sent for ranga while she was singing the song krishna murti in front of my eyes ranga reached the door he stopped at the threshold he did not want the singing to stop but was curious to see the singer carefully he peeped in the light coming into the room was blocked ratan looked up and seeing a stranger there abruptly stopped suppose you buy the best quality mango you eat it slowly savoring its peel before biting into the juicy flesh you do not want to waste any part of it before you take another bite the fruit slips out of your hand and falls to the ground how do you feel ranga's face showed the same disappointment when the singing stopped you sent for me he asked as he came in and sat on a chair ratan stood at a distance her head lowered ranga repeatedly glanced at her once our eyes met and he looked very embarrassed no one spoke for a long while it was my coming in that stopped the singing let me leave words mere words the fellow said he would leave but did not make a move how can one expect words to match actions in these days of kali yug ratan ran inside overcome by shyness after a while ranga asked who is that girl swami who is that inside the lion wanted to know the he goat who had taken shelter in the temple replied does it matter who i am i am a poor animal who has already eaten nine lions i have vowed to eat one more tell me are you male or female the lion fled the place in fear it seems like the he goat i said what does it matter to either of us who she is i am already married and you aren't the marrying kind very hopefully he asked she isn't married then his voice did not betray his excitement but i knew it was there she was married a year ago his face shriveled like a roasted brinjal after a while ranga left saying i must go i have work at home i went to ar shastri the next morning and told him keep everything ready to read the stars i'll come later i tutored him in all that i wanted him to say i found no change in ranga when i met him that afternoon 
What's the matter? You seem to be lost in thought, I said. Nothing, nothing is wrong, believe me. Headache? Come, let's go and see a doctor. I have no headache. I am my usual self. I went through the same thing when the process of choosing a girl for me was going on. But I don't think that that could be a reason for your present condition. Ranga stared at me. Come, let's go and see Shastri, I suggested. We will find out whether Guru and Shani are favorable for you or not. Ranga accompanied me without any protest. As soon as Shastri saw me, he exclaimed, What a surprise! Shama, haven't seen you for a long time. Shama is none other than your servant, the narrator of this tale. I got angry and shouted, What? Only this morning? Shastri completed my sentence. You finished all your work and are now free to visit me. Had he not done so, I would have ruined our plan by bursting like grains that are kept in the sun to dry. I was extremely careful of what I said afterwards. Shastri turned to Ranga. When did the young son of our accountant Kalak come home? What can I do for him? It's very rarely that he visits me. Take out your paraphernalia. Our Rangappa seems to have something on his mind. Can you tell us what's worrying him? Shall we put your science of astrology to the test? There was authority in my voice as I spoke to Shastri. He took out two sheets of paper, some cowries and a book of palmyra leaves saying, Ours is an ancient science, Aya. There is a story to it, but I won't tell you that story now. This is not a Harikatha which allows you to tell a story within a story. You may get bored. I'll tell it to you some other time. Shastri moved his lips fast as he counted on his fingers and then asked, What's your star? Ranga didn't know. Never mind, Shastri indicated with a shake of his head. He did some more calculations before saying in a serious tone, It's about a girl. I had been controlling my laughter all this while, but now I burst out laughing. I turned to Ranga. Exactly what I had said. Who is the girl? It was your humble servant who asked the question. Shastri thought for a while before replying. She probably has the name of something found in the ocean. Kamal? Maybe. Could it be Pachi? Mos. Must it be Mos if it's not Kamal? Why not Pearl or Ratan, the precious stone? Ratan? The girl in Rama Rao's house is Ratan. Tell me, is there any chance of our negotiations bearing fruit? Definitely, he said, after thinking for some time. There was surprise on Ranga's face and some happiness. I noticed it. But that girl is married, I said. Then I turned to him. His face had fallen. I don't know all that. There may be some other girl who is suitable. I only told you what our Shastra indicated, Shastri said. We left the place. On the way we passed by Rama Rao's house, Ratan was standing at the door. I went in alone and came out a minute later. Surprising, this girl isn't married, it seems. Someone told me the other day that she was. What Shastri told us has turned out to be true after all. But Rangappa, I can't believe that you have been thinking of her. Swear on the name of Madhavacharya and tell me, is it true what Shastri said? I do not know whether anyone else would have been direct, Ranga admitted. There is greater truth in that Shastra than we imagine. What he said is absolutely true. Shastri was at the well when I went there that evening. I said, so Shastri girl, you repeated everything I had taught you without giving rise to any suspicion. What a marvelous Shastra yours is. He didn't like it at all. 
वट आर यू सेंग वट यू सेट टू मी वॉज वॉट आई कुड हैव फाउंड आउट माई सेल्फ फ्रॉम द शास्त्र डोंट फॉर गेट आई डिवेल्प्ड ऑन द हिंट्स यू हैड गिवन मी टेल मी इज दिस वॉट ए डिसेंट मैन सेस रंगप्पा हैड कम द अदर डे टू इन्वाइट मी फॉर डिनर वट्स द ओकेजन आई आस्ट इट्स श्यामाज बर्थडे ही इज थ्री इट्स नॉट ए नाइस नेम श्यामा आई सेड आई एम लाइक ए डार्क पीस ऑफ ऑयल केक Why did you have to give that golden child of yours such a name? What a childish couple you are, Ratan and you. I know, I know it is the English custom of naming the child after someone you like. Your wife is 8 months pregnant now, who is there to help your mother to cook? My sister has come with her. I went there for dinner. Shama rushed to me when I walked in and put his arms round my legs. I kissed him on his cheek and placed a ring on his tiny little finger. Allow me to take leave of you, reader. I am always here ready to serve you. You were not bored, I hope. Thank you.